Stonewall Jackson made a name for himself during the golden honky-tonk years of the 1950s and 60s. He was born in North Carolina. He was named Stonewall after General Stonewall Jackson. Despite lifelong rumor, they're not related. He enlisted in the Navy in 1950 and was discharged in 1954. He moved to Nashville in 1956 to pursue a career in the music business. After hearing a demo tape, Wes Rose of A. a. Cuff Rose Publishing recommended Stonewall audition for the Grand Ole Opry. Stonewall, Stonewall was the first artist to join the Opry before having a recording contract. He signed with Columbia in 1958. His breakthrough came in late 1958 with a song written by George Jones, Life to Go. George got the idea for the song while visiting a prison when an inmate said to him, I still have life to go. It peaked at number two. In 1959, he recorded Waterloo, which went to number one for five weeks. It was also a crossover hit into the pop world, selling more than one million records. His 35 top 40 country hits between 1958 and 1971 ranged from the teenage tragedy car wreck tale, BJ the DJ, to a countryfied take on Lobo hit, Me and You and a Dog Named Boo, Beyond those novelty songs, Jackson kept the old time sound relevant with additional greatest hits cuts, Smoke Along the Track, Why I'm Walking, A Wound Time Can't Erase, Leona, Old Showboat, Don't Be Angry, I Wash My Hands in Muddy Water, Stamp Out Loneliness, and the final top 50 entry of his recording career, Herman Schwartz, which was 1973. This is Pete Fisher. He was a Grand Ole Opry general manager from 1999 to 2017. During the Pete Fisher tenure, the Grand Ole Opry invited more modern pop country entertainers into its, into its ranks of members than ever before. Acts such as Blake Shelton, Darius Rucker, Rascal Flatts, and Little Big Town. To keep a Grand Ole Opry membership active, an artist must perform there 10 times a year. Only Carrie Underwood uh, did this. It's much more lucrative to tour than to do the Opry. For example, Buck Owens rarely did the Opry because he can make much more money touring on the road. September the 29th, 2002, in an article that appeared on the front page of the Tennessean, which is a Nashville newspaper, longtime opera members Charlie Leuven, Dale Reeves, and Stonewall Jackson blasted Fisher for cutting back on their performances after years of loyalty to the institution. In 2006, Stonewall Jackson notoriously said Pete Fisher told him he would work as hard as possible until no gray hair was in the audience or on the stage. Eventually, Stonewall Jackson sued the Opry for $10 million in compensation and $10 million for punitive damages for age discrimination. And allegedly, Fisher told Stonewall he was too old and too country. The case was settled privately. Hank Williams III wanted Fisher to reinstate his grandfather out of respect, Hank Sr., but Fisher allegedly said the Opry will never reinstate a dead guy. Stonewall was inducted to, into the Country Music Hall of Fame in 2012. Okay, now let's take a look at Stonewall Jackson's house. It's located at Cloverland Drive, a Montessori Drive, Nashville, Tennessee. Well, actually, it's in uh, Brentwood, Tennessee, south of Nashville. Let's turn around here 
so we can get a better perspective. Uh, Nashville's out this direction, Brentwood is south. Uh, this home is fairly close to George Jones's place as well. This is Stonewall's house right here. We have Lake Waterloo, but I don't believe Stonewall owns this lake, but of course it's named after his number one hit 1959, Waterloo. Now if you look at the property here, back in the day, uh, he had some acreage. But I'm thinking that when they started building these homes, I believe this is around 2018, maybe 2017, they started building these homes, this subdivision. I imagine he probably regrets not buying a property, at least this section here, uh, a few years back. But we'll go down to Street View and, and look at the home. I've been on this road many, many times. And each time I, I am, I look for this stone wall right here. Let's get a closer look of the home. Stonewall Jackson's house, Brentwood, Tennessee. You probably clicked on this video because you like Stonewall Jackson and real country music. You know, we just can't find these guys on the radio anymore unless we pay for a satellite radio. But sometimes when I'm on road trips and traveling, I stumble across a country music station that plays the, the real stuff. I like to say real country music, not old country music. I just wish they would play more of it. A lot of these artists are in the Hall of Fame, but there are several that deserve to be, such as Billy Walker, and Johnny Russell and others. I sure miss it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please subscribe. It would just mean the world to me. It would encourage me to continue to do the videos. And also hit that bell because when you do, you'll be notified when I post another video. I'll see you at the top.